hi this video is on compound joint condition so let us see a payment table I'm clicking on it we have payment ID customer ID staff ID rental ID amount payment date last update all these columns and in rental table we have rental ID rental date and so on and you can see here we have a rental ID column in both of the tables and we also have staff ID column in both of the tables and you can notice here the values of staff ID are repeated so we cannot use this column to uniquely identify records in a table but we can use a combination of two columns in order to uniquely identify records in a table so I am using a Shakila database and select payment table so select everything from payment P and yeah, join rental R okay, okay. on P dot staff ID and uh, staff ID from rental table so R dot staff ID and run so this is the result we are getting and let us join a rental ID column from both of the tables that is payment and rental table so you can see the rental ID column here and rental ID and I'm using and operator because columns are in the same table so and p dot rental id rental id equals to r dot rental id and semicolon run so this is the result we are getting so this is a combination of two values in both columns which uniquely identifies each item so this is all about compound joint condition thank you for watching